The Texas coast is known for its year round warm waters, but how warm is too warm? Chris Six News reporter Kathleen McGinty takes a look at the rising water temperatures in the Gulf and what that means. If you've been out to Padre Island recently and swam in the Gulf, you may have noticed the water is even warmer than usual. The temperature of the water in the Gulf of Mexico today is 85 degrees Fahrenheit, and that number is only expected to grow in the months to come. Sometimes if it's deep enough, it'll... Dr. McKinney with the Heart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies says that our water temperatures are about two months ahead of schedule. This time of year, it should be 83, 82, something like that. If it continues this way, if in August, for example, when we usually have 85 and it's close into the maybe 87 uh, I don't that range 80 that will be that will be uh, really really high very very scary actually these temperatures are a big concern for many reasons more potential for red tide a harmful algal bloom and vibrio which is a flesh eating bacteria right now there's a lot of wind and so it keeps things stirring but as the wind dies back as we get closer to August for example all of these things will start to happen and the biggest concern of them all tropical storms. Because tropical storms and hurricanes are just big heat engines. And if there's more heat, there's more intensity and more issues. So that's the real big concern. These we can live with. These we would prefer not to. The last time the Gulf of Mexico set a record high for water temperature, 2017, the year Hurricane Harvey hit. Katherine McGinty, Chris Six News.